This program has been made possible in part by Interweave, the handmade life. Your craft community for books, magazines, videos, patterns, events, and more. On the web at interweavestore.com. Hi, on today's Crochet Corner, we're going to talk about filet crochet. This is a very traditional technique in crochet that actually has a very simple beginning to it. It's based on open squares and closed squares. The closed squares are represented by three double crochets, and the open squares are represented by a chain two double crochet. Let me show you some of the traditional samples that I brought. You can see that there's a pattern created by, com by the way you combine the closed squares and the open squares. The, se the tight sections are sections of three double crochet, and the open sections of those little tiny open squares are the sections of chain two double crochet. And the, this is actually shown in chart form, but it's different than the normal crochet charts that you may be used to. It's used as like a grid, and there'll be one color for the closed squares and another color for the open squares. So like this pattern would be done on a grid, and you would actually be able to see the flower pattern show up very easily because the flower, the set, the, well, the solid sections show up as the one color versus the other color that's the open section, which is actually a really great way for you to be able to design your own pieces in filet crochet. Let me show you a chart so you can see what I'm talking about. In this particular chart, the pink squares are the three double crochet sections, and the white squares are represented by a chain two double crochet section. And uh, in this particular swatch here, this is the one that replicates this pattern. And when I was looking at different charts to you, different uh, stitch patterns to use for on the show today, I thought that adding this little flower was a really neat extra to show because even though they look like they're flowers that you crocheted separately and sewed on, which we all know we'd rather not do, we'd rather do it as we go, these are actually crocheted into the open squares as we go. And they're represented on the chart with a star. And that's what I'm going to show you how to make today. So let's get started. This one I've already begun and I've done the, clo the section that's in the dark section here, I've highlighted that to show that's the strip that we're doing here. And I started with the pink, which is uh, the, the closed square, which is the three double crochets. Then the next one is chain two, one double crochet. And then the next one is chain two, one double crochet. But this one is located on the chart as a star. So I'm gonna show you what we do for that. So we're going to slip stitch into the side of that last stitch worked, chain three, which counts as a double crochet, work two double crochets into the same side of the stitch, and then a chain three, and slip stitch back down into that same side post. Now we're gonna turn our work so that we're working into the chain two in the top of the last row worked, chain three, and work Three, two double crochets into that, chain two space, then chain three slip stitch into the same place. Now we're going to turn our work again and work into the double crochet in the current row. A slip stitch into it, chain three, work two double crochets, chain three, and slip stitch into the side of that same stitch. Now we'll go back up to the top chain two at the top of this particular row, and we're going to slip stitch into it, chain three, work two doubles, two double crochets that is, and a chain three, slip stitch down into that same hole. And if you could look, we do have our flower started, but we want to continue on our row, so I'm going to chain two and work our next open square, and you're going to flip that petal over to the side so you can see where you're working, and you want to work over the last open square. So you work a double, whoops, work a double crochet there, and then based on the chart, the next square is a closed one. So we'll finish that, and then I'm going to show you where we are on the chart, because there will be a trick to getting the next, next row worked. So now what we've done is we've just finished 
we've just finished across, we did the flower, an open square, and a closed square. So now we'll go up and do our next row, which is from the back side. Chain three counts as our first crochet, double crochet, and we're going to do a closed square, just three doubles, and then we're going to work our, our next three are open squares, and you're going to chain two. Now it's kind, this is where it's kind of hard to find where your stitch is. So if you look, if you pull apart, pull the flower petals back a little bit, you can see where the stitch actually is. Work it into it and get your double crochet, then chain two, and you're gonna go across, pull your side petal and your top petal back a little bit, and you can see the stitch then, yarn over, insert your hook, then pull up a loop chain two, double crochet, and then your closed square, which is the three doubles. And then on one other thing to point out is that when you're switching on from one row to the next to go from a closed square to an open square, here, I'll just finish this row and I can show you on the other side, what you're gonna do, like for example, on the next row, we're doing all closed squares. A closed square over an open square means you work two of the double crochets into the chain two space and then the next double crochet into the double crochet. So that's what you would do. And then if you were working an open square over a closed square, you do chain two, skip two stitches and double crochet into the next stitch. I also worked this up in a worsted weight yarn to show you that although it's the same exact stitches, it looks a little different on the larger, in the larger yarn, which I think this would make a really pretty scarf. That's a quick look at filet crochet on today's Crochet Corner.